it's not easy to play through them. Well, here we go, and so professional soccer is underway for the first time in Albuquerque, New Mexico, USL Championship League. The crowd will get up as that is the fantastic lefty for United. Sent across and dangerous for a moment. Touch in the midfield by Ryan Williams was turned over and quickly the other way. Here come Fresno FC and a strike as Mizell wanted none of that. And he took no chances, did he? As he poked it away, it'll be a throw in. Take another look. And it was well struck. Not much. And an opportunity for Fresno FC. This is an ideal spot. Curled in on the left foot. And diving back post. Headed. And out of danger in a moment. And then Apple sees it in the opener. The flags waving. The first 5,000 fans got free flags. Dish on the inside. And the left footed shot as Mizell covers. And he had to. Flagging for an infringement. I'm not sure. I assume it was for Fresno as soon as they left their goal. Jackson gets inside the box. Jackson dangerous on the right foot. Settles it on the left foot. Juan Pablo. Chavez had it poked away from him and a good play in the end. A tough touch, but he recoups. Moir will send it forward. Suggs with a nice touch in front of him. Suggs right in front to Sandoval on the right foot. And it's through. Devin Sandoval. Welcome home. What a brilliant a strike. strike. What a strike that was. As soon as he got the ball and it opened up for him, there was only one thought in his mind. He was going to hit that. And wow. What a strike it was. What a first goal for New Mexico United. Suggs plays the ball inside. It sits up just nice. Just sits nice. And a quick counter quickly the other way. Here comes Johnson. And Johnson delivers. It's Chavez on the outside. Pasulovic on the cut. Sends it in left foot. Just wide. And dangerous for a moment as oohs and ahs from the crowd. We got a substitution. And look at this. Hamilton's day is done. A one by Moir and a counter the other way. And there's a lot of room out in front for Weehan. Weehan takes a cut on the right foot and he sails it over. And a real opportunity before the end of the half. And that's it. So the opening half here in Albuquerque, New Mexico at Isotope Park. And it has New Mexico United leading it on the boot of Devin Sandoval. One. Nil. This evening, it is chilly here in the Duke City in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But a nice night, and what a fan affair it is for this inaugural opener. As Fresno FC will start out with the ball. Get out of play. it will be an FC throw in. Vasulovic, tough touch in front of him. Chavez could cut back, and he's going to send one, and that's dangerous. And Cody Mizell can't keep it out of the net. And that is the equalizer. That's what we talked about in the first half. They're getting some joy down the flanks. Cross in. Someone lost their marker in the middle. It was pretty much a free header for uh, Jackson, right? Look, and it was a gorgeous ball, wasn't it, by Chavez. And, yeah, it was Jackson, the Brazilian, and he is equalized. And so Fresno... Ah. Lehan wins one in the middle. Good job by Kappa as he pulls it away. Kaffa raises his hands to set it up. And Kaffa has a goal at it off the post and flicked over. And I didn't think the angle was possible, to be honest, Chris, but Kaffa almost pulled it off. If anyone to react, and my word, what an effort that was. Well, look at a dip, and you Maybe know what? Just got a hand was, to it. He'll get the caution, and we'll have some extra stoppage time as we enter the 62nd minute. Dangerous for Johnson on the right foot. Mizell. He'll have to cover, and he does what we thought. We hadn't talked about it, Chris, but uh, such such a lethal combination up top is Kavon Freyd. <laughs> I believe that. Here's Jackson, and he's so strong, and Jackson's going to send this across, and that's dangerous, and Mizell had to be big, and he was. Diego Casillas, the midfielder, number 22. He'll be coming on. Like for Jackson. Yeah, so Jackson's day is done and he was disruptive. What is wasn't he? Jackson, the Brazilian in the 47th minute, equalized Chris, and that's where we sit, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, he's he, uh, first half very active again. There was a lot of play down the down the outside. Second half, other than the call, 
um, been a little quieter, you know. But again, maybe it's maybe it's the altitude, maybe just a little, you know, pre. Tente going to go high. Devon Freighter couldn't get on the end of it. There is some room for Moore on the right foot. And Cochran had to cover near post. And it looks like Alex Cooper, surprising, is coming off. He's, he's been involved in just about any point of attack so far for Fresno FC. It's that, that, that time that he just stepped out to play there. And Lehan will take on the right foot. It out swings in the top of the six, and it's headed clear. Disappointing to hit the first man there. And so full time in the Duke City.